Hello guys! Welcome to my channel, Math and Business TV. Ang topic natin ngayon ay tungkol sa geometric sequence. Geometric sequence is a sequence of numbers where each term after the first is found by multiplying the previous one by a fixed non-one number called the common ratio. Sa Tagalog, ang geometric sequence ay makukuha natin yung next term kapag minultiply natin ang previous term doon sa fixed number na tinatawag nating common ratio. In finding the n term, we have a formula. A n equals to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Where a n is the n term of the sequence, a1 is the first term of the sequence, r is the common ratio. The formula for common ratio is r equals to a sub 2 over a sub 1. Paano natin makukuha ang common ratio? Makukuha natin ito by dividing the second term by first term. The sequence 1, 2, 4, and 8 has a common ratio of 2. Since a sub 2, a divide natin sa a sub 1. So, 1 is our a sub 1, 2 is our a sub 2, 4 is our a sub 3, 8 is our a sub 2. I divide natin ang a sub 2 sa a sub 1. So, 2 divide 1, that is 2. 4 divide 2, that is 2. And 8 divide 4, that is 2. So, meron na tayong common ratio. So, this sequence has a common ratio of 2. Example, let us state if the given sequence is geometric. If so, identify the common ratio. Example number 1. We have 2, 6, 18, 54. Para ma-identify natin ang common ratio, i-divide natin ang a sub 2, that is 6, divide by a sub 1, that is 2. So, 6 divide by 2, that is 3. 18 divided by 6, that is 3. 54 divided by 18, that is 3. The sequence is geometric sequence because there is a common ratio. Another example, we have 3, 12, 36, 72. Our a sub 2 is 12. Our a sub 1 is 3. So, 12 divided by 3, that is 4. 36 divided by 12, that is 3. 72 divided by 36, that is 2. This sequence is not a geometric sequence because there is no common ratio. Next, we have an example of let us identify the common ratio and the next term in the following sequences. Example number 1. We have 1, 2, 4, 8. Hanapin natin ang next term. So, our a sub 2 is 2. Our a sub 1 is 1. So, identify muna natin yung common ratio. 2 divided by 1, that is 2. 4 divided by 2, that is 2. 8 divided by 4, that is 2. We have now the common ratio. Para makuha natin ang next term, i-multiply natin ang previous term sa common ratio natin. So, 8 times 2, that is 16. So, 16 is our next term. Another example, we have 2 negative 8, 32, negative 128. Hanapin natin yung next term. Identify natin yung common ratio. Negative 8 is our A sub 2. 
divide by a sub 1 is 2. So, negative 8 divide by 2, that is negative 4. 32 divide by negative 8, that is negative 4. Negative 128 divide by 32, that is negative 4. So, we have now a common ratio of negative 4. Para makuha natin ang next term, i-multiply natin ang previous term doon sa common ratio natin. So, negative 128 times negative 4, that is 512. So, our next term is 512. Another example. Find the n term of the geometric sequence whose initial term E1 and the common ratio are given. Then find the indicated term of the sequence. Example number 1. We have A sub 1, that is 2. R, that is 7. Then N is the 7. In finding the n term, we have a formula. A n equals to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. I-substitute natin ang given data to the formula. Ang a n natin, ito yung n term. Ito yung hinahanap natin. So, a 7 equals to a sub 1, that is 2, times r, that is 7, Raised to n minus 1. 2 times 7 raised to 6. Para makuha natin ang 117,649, i-multiply natin ang 7 to itself 6 times. So, 2 times 117,649, that is... 235,298. This is now our 7th term. Another example. A sub 1 is equals to negative 3. R is 2 and N is 10. Tandaan natin na in finding the n term, we have a formula En equals to A1 times R raised to N minus 1. Ang a natin ay ito yung hinahanap natin. So, a10 equals to negative 3 is our a1 times 2 our r raised to n minus 1. Negative 3 times 2 raised to 9. Para makuha natin ang 512, i-multiply natin ang 2 to itself 9 times. So, negative 3 times 512, that is negative 1,536. This is now our n term. That's all about geometric sequence. Para ma-update kayo sa mga video ko, please subscribe, like, share, and follow my YouTube channel, Math and Business TV. God bless.